Good day everyone, um, it's me again. Today I just want to review my um, my wagon camper. I pretty much set up, um, got everything or what I need. So what I have done in here, this is pretty much gonna be um, my bed. If I travel along the road and I need to stop somewhere in the middle of the night, um, I got my um, bean bags and all that. Oh, not bean bag. I mean sleeping bag and the mattress to go on top of that. And um, <clears throat> um, I got all the stuff. Like I built this purposely because um, I want to put um, the thing underneath, so I can store like my clothes, my stuff, and all that. So um, it's come in handy because. Um, this is my mattress and all that so um, basically when I travel I'm gonna take this out and put on top of the box and then um, I can put all my clothes and whatever I need to put in there okay I got my curtain here and um, so I can block down at night and um, so I have another one go in front of my um, windscreen and the window so I pretty much block out at night if I need to so okay so this section here i leave it empty blank like that, so for me to be able to um sit down or you know <clears throat> do something that i um maybe sit back and relax because um the head height of that is not very good now before i put the box in i'd be able to sit down at the back but now i cannot do that because um it's, my head will touch the ceiling so now I just um so I decide to leave this one empty so I can use it and maybe extra passenger whatever. But anyway, um up the top here I got the solar panel. I will um like is um it's a double um it's a 250 watt um solar panel. But at the moment because I I bow into the my roof basket so um, I only can be able to use one face of the panel but it still draw a lot of power and very quick so I don't have problem with that okay so what I have in here this is my my fridge so so I can um, you know easily if I if I need to um, you know store some cold things and anything like anything to keep it in the fridge so I mean now I don't have to worry about you know esky and put ice in it and you know like this now is very easy and handy and um, it's not that bad actually this is a 50 liters fridge and freezer so it's quite good have a look inside um, okay so I got my power box right there, connect to my um, um, solar panel up the top. So um, while I'm driving, while I'm driving, I will you know get my battery fully charged. But I know I lose some space on top of the roof basket. But if I don't need to charge my battery, I still can put things on top of my solar panel. That should be no problem. Okay. So what else I have in here? I got. A fan in here turn it on and it's working fine no problem okay and then I got my my light here as well and I got my uh, my speaker that connect to my um, iPad or my um, um, uh, my laptop so it's um, you know get better better sound when I'm when I need to lay down inside or need something to um, you know entertain myself so I have that option there yeah. also it come with the light um, so it's it's a down light like a down light you know like, so it's not so bright at night when I sit in the car but it's um, yeah I mean it's pretty work out work out pretty good actually so I glue it, I mainly glue a little thing into my, oh not glue, but double side of tape. So make sure it's in place, not flying around and driving. Yeah, so basically it's um, pretty much all what I need. 
and um, make my life a lot easier when I travel like I said the purposely I built this one because um, when I travel like a long cycle from here to um, interstate somewhere and I need to stop at the truck stop rest area and something like that so I don't need I don't need to pull the tent out or the swag you know I just um, sleep in the car I got the fan going and um, pretty much all here that what I need all right so I got also I got fire extinguisher here because just in case you never know thing can happen okay let me show you what in the fridge at the moment I got nothing in the fridge but oh, I think I got one bottle of water but I show you what it looks like anyway so there you go it's working and nice and cold so this section here they reckon is a freezer i left the bottle in here before and it's, here, it's become like uh, ice so i don't know this top section here is pretty much it's like a freezer and then they got a lot of space here to put a lot of stuff in here so i don't have to worry about it anymore when i'm off the grid or go somewhere with no power side okay so um, let's close the thing the cover okay this is the drawer All right, so what I did the drawer is gonna be mainly like my food they're gonna put like um, the dry food and all that in here like canned snacks and maybe you know anything got to do with food and drinks i'm gonna put in there so what have i built here so um when i'm actually um say if i have to stop somewhere you know for a short period of time and i need to cook something or boil something so i can put my portable stove here and um so um what i can what i store in there is um what i did i built this one here so i can lock up what I need to do is, um, okay, just give me a second. Let me um, get it out. Okay, so what have I done here? Um, this one just too, too locked for, me, um, for moving around. So it's pretty stable here. Take this out and then I slide this back a bit and then I lift this one up. So I come off. So I store like gas bottles. You know some little thing in there though i make a little um space for little thing that i need got to do with the kitchen or anything like maybe like some calorie going in there some plate bowl whatever pots um i don't carry much of those kitchen stuff so i just take what i need but it's um yeah it's coming handy with um this thing on top so i can um, actually um so what I do is just put this one back and slide the thing back. And it's pretty stable. So it won't go anywhere. And then I put the stove on top of that. Okay. Also, um, see what I've, I have done here. Um, I put the, like a, <clears throat> it's like a foam and um, it's like an insulation so it stop and blocking the heat from coming inside um i got all like pretty much from the back and just a little bit at the um, rear door passenger door so what it does uh, i mean like i i actually i can tell the difference because um i slept in the car a few times now and um before i put the thing on i can get like a bit of like in winter it's pretty cold inside and in summer it's very very hot so what i did is um i put this up and it's blocking from like it's actually like an insulation is blocking the, the weather from coming into the car so it does help it does help a lot so um and also underneath here i like to mention that i got i have the like a portable shower here somewhere just give me a second uh, I got a portable shower here 
so um, what I do is um, it's, uh, it's 12 volt um, the 12 volt and um, what I do I plug it into my power point uh, my power station there and um, and then I put the other end into the like a, a water bucket or drum or tank or whatever so I can um, have a um, like outdoor shower I mean look mainly I park somewhere near the beaches in order I can shower from the beach and all that but again like when you're in the bush and some like remote campsite it's come in handy so I have it for um, just in case so um, yeah pretty much all um, what I have to say about this um, poor man camper van um, look I, with this box here I spend um, around um, I just to buy just the, the, the wood to get it fit um, to make a box like this is cost me around like 150 657 dollars say with the screws and brackets the hinge and um, whatever so say totally about total about 180 dollars and it's um like I mean the main thing is um the problem with the if the van you got more space but with the camper van, uh, with the station wagon, you don't have much room. So what we need is some um, some space, some storage. That's my concern because um, look, when you travel, you need a storage. You know, something to store your dirty clothes away or put some stuff. And look, I try to carry minimum, but again, like you still need this kind of storage. So it's um yes yeah, under two hundred to get this all done and the carpet I use I use uh, the old carpet so I didn't buy it and this is the same material like same kind of form that go into um on the on the window there so yeah it's um just protecting from like my like I hit it like with my knees or my leg or whatever so it's um supporting. You know you don't get hurt from the edge of the wood i'm not a carpenter i just do what i can like you know i mainly use a screw and the wood glue and the bracket to help make it nice and strong and this one can remove like on the floor is actually nothing it's actually um it's on that floor there so if i need this space i just remove it out and um yeah one person can lift it up no problem okay Let's move on to the next one. So let my fishing rod go along the side here. It's um, pretty secure and uh, protected from the weather, so it's pretty handy. All right, okay, so what I'm gonna do next is um, we're gonna set everything up and then I show you what it looks like. Okay, so, um, Pretty much this is what it's gonna look like when I'm on site. Um, so I got the awning, and then um, if I sleep, need, like if I find some good campsite or something, I can attach my awning tent, you know, so I can live comfortably on site. But if I'm just feel like to throw the swag under the, the awning, so that's fine as well. Or I can um, just sleep in the car like i said earlier and um, that how the bed look like and it's got plenty of plenty of room there because from the seat there all the way here is about two meters and i'm only 160 eggs so very comfortable okay so this is pretty much what it look like inside this is for solo um traveler so but if I have to go with my partner or anyone, so I will bring the swag, like I got double swag or I got the family tent to attach to my owning. So that should be fine as well. So there's a solar panel up there and that's what it look like when I need to, um, you know, get some angle of the sun to shut up my power. But pretty much I can leave it pretty much so like flat on the roof. So it's, um, it's still charge up my battery. So. No drama. Okay, this is um. So this is a poor man. It's a poor man camper van. Okay, so uh, to buy a van this day is um is um to pick the decent one and a good one is too expensive. And um, 
a lot of them got very high kilometers on it so i choose to use my ex existing um vehicle that i have like the commodore station wagon here i have and if i don't need i'm not i'm not a serious go off-road person so i pretty much just go somewhere that i'm very confident that i should be okay but that what it um, look like okay so um what else can i say here um 